everybody. Welcome to The Balancing Act. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Julie Moran. And I'm Olga Viverdi. You know, so much good stuff on the menu from a tasty cold slaw dish to foods infused with pumpkin. I love the pumpkin. I can't wait it. for this. And we'll also tell you about nutritional supplements plus finding faith at a university. Hmm. And Julie? Don't forget the travel tip. Oh my gosh, oh yeah. How can I forget that? We're always on the move and it all starts right now. familiar with the dreaded word plateau when it comes to our weight loss journey. Our first guest told Olga, perhaps it's time for a little tweaking. All right, let's say you're following a healthy eating and fitness plan, but yet the numbers on the scale aren't dropping, the inches aren't budging. What's going on, you ask? You may need to look inside. Our guests have some insider's information to share. They are Robbie Fender, founder and CEO of the nutritional supplement company Yoli, and Jennifer Furness, a Yoli independent member and customer. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being Good here. Morning. All right, let me start with you. So what happens? You know, you're trying, you're trying, you're on a diet, you're going to the gym, nothing. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, after 20 years of being a part of the weight loss industry and health and nutrition, here's what I've learned. Diets do not work. Really? Right. It is all, it must be a lifestyle program. And I know you did a lifestyle program because you lost how many pounds? 31 pounds and 28.25 inches. Oh my gosh. And we have the proof in the pudding. Yes. You have some before and afters. Let's take those. Yes. Look at that dramatic change. Yes. Wow. Yes. Tell me about this. At that time, I was a 41 year old woman working a full time job, chasing kids and very frustrated. I was carrying around still an extra 35 pounds of what I called baby weight for mm -hmm. about 10 years. I mean, I was just ready for a change. I started and I lost the 31 pounds and 28.25 inches, but the biggest thing for me was 8.75 inches just in my waist. Now, I had had both my babies via C-section. And I had had this this mental this philosophy that oh my goodness I'm never going to have a waistline again. Not so. And not true. And so the Better Body System taught me a lifestyle where I could actually make this go away. All right. So fill in the gaps for me here, Robbie. What okay. is this? All right. You start with a transformation kit. What you need to know is this: when people first hear that they're going to lose seven to fifteen pounds in seven days, they actually are skeptical, and I don't blame them. Yeah. But here's what you need to know: our bodies are not designed to hold hold on to weight. The foods that we're eating today, quite frankly, are empty foods. They're, they're doing nothing but we're all on carb overload and it's making us acidic. And when you're acidic, your body is gonna hold on to fat to protect yes. itself. Not only that, it has a tough time absorbing nutrients that it needs. So the first ingredient we're gonna give you is our product called Alkalite. Alkalite is going to take you from an acidic body to an alkaline body. It is going to adjust the pH of your body. Then we're going to give you our Passion product. Passion is a proprietary blend called Thermoburn, and when you take that, it's going to kickstart your metabolism. It's gonna turn your body into a fat burning machine. Okay. The third product is Pure. Pure is a probiotic. You gotta have good gut health. There are so many women out there and some men that are having problems on a regular basis going. And you've got to fix that. How are you going to lose any weight, Olga, if you're not going the bathroom? Let's right? be honest. You have to be regular. You yes. have to be regular. Mm -hmm. And the last piece, and the most important, is our yes, our Yoli Essential Shake. The Yoli Essential Shake is a whey protein that is a non-denatured, non-GMO ingredient that we import all the way from New Zealand. Now, it's important to point this out, Olga. We use stevia. And those yes shakes I was talking to you about, mm -hmm. they taste like a milkshake. Okay, They're I delicious. do have to ask. Side effects here? Yeah. The side effect is you're going to lose weight. <laughs> well, here's the proof right here. Absolutely. You know, it's, I, I, I can only imagine it's changed your life. You, you, I'm sure you're a new woman. How do you feel today? Yes, I feel amazing. And, and one thing I just want people to know, Olga, is just that when we don't have to walk around frustrated in our 30s and our 40s or any age for that matter, we can be empowered through a lifestyle with a better body system and feel incredible. And you look incredible. Thank you so much for your time. I do appreciate Go girl, that's all I'm gonna say. Thank you so much. And for more information on how to transform your life physically, emotionally, and financially, visit yoli.com, that's Y-O-L-I.com, or our website, thebalancingact.com.
Thanks, Olga. Coming up, a holistic approach to higher education. And later on, a new twist on a favorite side dish. Stay with us. Welcome back to the show. Let's say you decided that this is the year that you work on your inner and your outer self. You might start with a faith-based university. Olga? Many of us promise to nurture ourselves more this new year. It seems we're always taking care of others. And now it's time to treat ourselves and stimulate our minds. One of the ways we can accomplish this is to perhaps change careers, try a new hobby, even return to school, which can open up a world of possibilities. Truly it can. Our guest says school is an excellent choice, especially one with a holistic approach. Meet Dr. Elaine Thorpe, a dean at Andrews University in Berrien Springs, Michigan. Good Good morning. Good morning. You like the weather in South Florida? <laughs> I love the weather in South Florida, but I left a beautiful, beautiful campus. So and you really I did. That. And I really want to talk about it because I love this idea of not only nurturing our mind, but also our body and our spirit. How does that happen there? Well, one of the things that we do, we really believe that it's, a, it's terrific for students to have access to information. Knowledge is important, but knowledge is not the only thing. The mind is not the only thing that, the, that operates uh, the human being. Uh, human beings are also spirit and body. And we believe that all three of these things, mind, spirit, and body, must work together for the students to really appreciate uh, what to do with knowledge. So they don't just gather more fact, but they know what to do with the fact. They know how to live their lives. They know how to be responsible people. And I want to talk more about that. But first, Doctor, I was reading here you are dean at the university's School of Distance Education, yes. which I'd like clarification on that, and international partnerships. So what is the difference between these two, and what exactly are they? Okay, so the School of Distance Education and International Partnerships is that school at the Andrews University that brings together uh, really the offering of online courses, which is a big thing nowadays. Every, almost every university is offering online courses, which made, uh, makes access to information um, more available, makes information more available to students everywhere, no matter where they're located. But we're also the school that is in charge of international partnerships for both international students who are coming on campus, but also the more than 30 sites that we have around the world. So Andrews, Andrews University is really a global university. We have a global outreach. We have more than um, 5,700 students, about 4,000 of those students are studying on campus, and the rest study either online or off campus. And the campus, uh, as you and I were talking a few minutes before we started the segment, it, it really does have a different feel from lots of campuses. So I want to go back to that holistic approach because I see here you're operated by the Seventh-day Adventist Church. So how does all that tie together and make this campus just different? Well, one of the things that's very important to Seventh-day Adventists is this idea of holism. That, we, that the body is something that supports the mind, that the mind is something that supports the spirit, and all of these things work together. And so at the heart of our university, you'll find a one, at the very middle of our university, you'll find a beautiful church, Pioneer Memorial Church, mm. one of the most beautiful churches you could ever imagine. Our university is also an arboretum. It's part, part of the National Arboretum because we believe in the beauty of the environment, of making a difference for students. And we have a wonderful farm with a farm, a, farm, a, a farm. dairy farm. We grow vegetables. <laughs> Students work on the in the uh, growing vegetables and milk, and we provide those those wonderful products to our community. Now, I also noticed, that, and you told me about a globe in the entrance. Yes. What does that represent? When you come into Andrews University, we have this beautiful sculpture, which is basically a globe. We believe that uh, that Andrews University provides an education for students from around the world. We have students from 98 countries who come to the university. But we also believe that it's important for the students from in North America to have a sense of what the world is around them. Because they're citizens of the world too. They're not just going to spend the rest of their lives in the US. They're going to be working for companies that have contracts overseas, or they might even be working overseas themselves. And I know you're a faith-based university, but I do want to clarify that if you, you don't want to be a member of the, uh, and it's called the Seventh-day Adventist Church, you don't have to if you no, want to attend the right. university, right? We have, stu we have students from every, uh, almost every faith um, in, on our campus. We even have, we have Saudi students who are obviously practicing Muslims. We have students who we would like to think they believe something, but they're not sure that they believe much of anything. So we actually run the gambit and everyone is welcome. But I love the fact that you're not only stimulating the mind, you're stimulating everything of the person's body and spirit. It kind of all comes together when they leave there. Yes, and one of the things we want students to do is recognize how important faith is. Mm -hmm. That even if they're not Seventh-day Adventists, faith is an important 
plays an important role in their lives. It gives, it gives sort of a, a, a sense of purpose to them okay. and a recognition that something, that there are things that are more important than just meeting their own needs. And I don't know if this has a purpose, but I have to ask that little turtle. Oh. <laughs> Is there a meaning behind that? Well, the turtle, yeah, I guess you could say I'm a graduate of the University of Maryland. So this is a little bit of a bow to the Terrapins, but also reminds me because I did not have the advantage of an Adventist education. I, I was raised outside uh, Adventist education, outside Christian education. And I recognized when I started teaching in a Christian school what I was missing. Because when I talk to students on campus at Andrews University, I can share what I believe. I can share what is at the core of my, of my uh, foundation as a human being. When I taught at the University of Maryland, when I was a student at the University of Maryland, then became a graduate student and did some teaching, I couldn't do that. I could only teach the literature classes I was assigned to teach. Amen to that. And for our viewers out there who'd like more information on the university? They can go to our website, andrews.edu. Thank you so much. I look forward to maybe one day looking at that, the heart of the school, which is that church. Oh, I wish you would. It's a beautiful, beautiful church. Thank you for your time, Doctor. And for more information on how you can discover your future, visit andrews.edu or our website, thebalancingact.com. All right, coming up, Chef Chris Paul taking noodles to another level. You've heard of seasonal dishes, you know, foods we serve only at certain times of the year. Well, here at The Balancing Act, we're about to take coleslaw off the seasonal dish list, and that's great because it happens to be one of my favorites. Love it. Chef Chris Paul is back in the kitchen with a yakisoba noodle coleslaw to die for. Good morning. Good morning. Love coleslaw. Awesome. I, I can eat it too. any time of the day, even at 2 in the morning when I wake up and I have a little uh, binging. <laughs> I love coleslaw. So show me the spin on this awesome. one. Well, we tweaked this up. We okay. really had a lot. Um, a little coleslaw mix. We're going to just add a little bit in here. Okay. Um, now I have a lot of the ingredients already in here, but I'm just going to show you how easily and quick it is to just prepare it. A little bit of um, noodles. noodles. I love these. Uh -huh. Yeah, you just you can't stop eating them. Uh-huh. Go ahead. A little bit of carrots. Um, a little bit of raisins. Mm. Yep, so that's that's the kind of weird part of it, but little it sweetness. really is good. Mm -hmm. Fried onions, hello, crunch, texture, right? I'm loving really this. Really good. Cabbage, purple cabbage. Makes it pretty. Um, makes it pretty, yep. And a little bit of caramelized cashews. Mm. What? Yeah. Like that. <laughs> and of course, mayonnaise. Low fat. Yep. <laughs> Low fat. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Put a little bit of mayo in there, and we're just going to mix that up. We also have the noodles in there, oh. which really, really make a big difference. Without so while you're mixing it up, what you do first, then I'm assuming, is you do your yakisoba noodles in the microwave? Absolutely. Okay. Yep, absolutely. And we're using the chicken flavor today. Yep. We're Why using so? The chicken, the chicken go, blends really, really good with a lot of these ingredients, um, I, and, and I love good coleslaw. You, uh, you got to have that uh, mayonnaise and the combination of the chicken just really tweaks it up. And I would have never thought of adding noodles to it. Right, I know. Oh. I know that would be the last thing. All right, let me, let me try. You You're making me hungry. <laughs> ooh, 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 gosh. Have you noticed? I love to eat. Oh, so good. So good. And anytime, like you said, you could eat this any time of the day. Refreshing. You really could. It is very refreshing. I'm yeah. talking with my mouth. <laughs> Something okay. that I told my children never to do. Oh, I love it. Thank you. This is a great idea. Appreciate Thank it, you. Seth. Awesome. I got to swallow. <laughs> And for more information on yakisoba noodles, just go to our website, thebalancingact.com. That's thebalancingact.com. This was a great, refreshing yeah. light. Now you know travel tips. When you're doing exercise, you know, running or walking, you need water to hydrate the body. Same thing goes for the car. We're talking fluids and oils, you know, hydration for the car. Okay, so what are all these things? Let's start from the bottom and rear of the car, the transmission differential. When you put the car in drive, the tranny gets you going, so make sure the fluid levels are optimal. It's not like the oil, so you don't need to check it so often. Have your mechanic check it once a year. Same goes for the engine oil. The dipstick should be clearly marked or color-coded, so know which dipstick you're pulling out. Check levels. Just pull out the dipstick, do a visual on it, wipe it once with a cloth, put it back in, and check it a second time. Power steering fluid usually has a small plastic tub with a cap. Open it up and check it out. How about coolant? Pretty important to keep your car running cool and in the winter. It also works as antifreeze to keep your engine blocked from cracking. Make sure the car has not been running 30 minutes or longer and remove the cap off slowly then fill accordingly. 
and your windshield. Got to keep those fluids filled too. So look for the windshield wiper icon. Pop the plastic top and pour. And if you're on the road and find yourself low on any important fluids, stop into a travel center, fill her up, and hydrate her too. Stay hydrated and your car will love you for it. Don't forget to drink your water because staying hydrated is good for cars and people too. Bye. Now you know travel tips. Sponsored by TA and Petro Stopping Centers, Coast to Coast. Refuel, replenish, refresh. It's a new year. Welcome to my kitchen. This is Quick Bites with me, Chef Ralph Pagano. New year, new you. You know, with the end of uh, January right now, and how you doing with your resolutions? You need a little bit of help? You need something new? I got you covered. You might be surprised to learn what Libby's 100% pure pumpkin can do to your dishes. Right now, I've got a pumpkin smoothie. What happened here? Greek yogurt, plus pumpkin, plus a little bit of ice into the blender. When it's all done, pour it into the glass, skew it with some banana and some raspberry, the kids go crazy. Now, speaking about the kids, I'm always trying to find a way to slip something healthy into my kids' diet. Now, I like to eliminate the fat as much as possible. Do you know that pumpkin can be used in place of butter? That's right, on your toast, on your pancakes, and right over here in the macaroni and cheese. Make your cheese sauce as you would normally. Fold a little bit of the Libby's 100% pure pumpkin into it. Pasta into the oven. Hit it with pumpkin seeds. You're going to love it. Let me assemble for you something right now. This is the pumpkin parfait. I make these at night when the kids go to sleep. So this way on Sunday morning, I can rip it open in the refrigerator, and everybody has a great time. Here's how it is. You take some pumpkin, layer it into the glass. This Libby's 100% all pure pumpkin makes it so easy. Greek yogurt joins the party. I like the colors. I like the way it sets up. Granola. I love granola. You can make your own. You can buy it in the store. Repeat this a couple of times. More pumpkin. I can always be reached by pumpkin. A little bit more yogurt. Dance it around. Some pumpkin seeds on top for the crunch. I've got here some cinnamon. I got here some nutmeg. And right here for you, I got delicious. I love it, you're gonna love it. To learn how Libby's 100% pure pumpkin can help your waistline, visit the website verybestbaking.com or visit our website thebalancingact.com. Remember, this was a quick bite. But true slowly. One word, yummy. How about two words, yummy, yummy? Fabuloso. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to try out those recipes. And, of course, that's our show. Thanks for being here this morning. Check out our website, our Facebook. We appreciate your time. Thanks for watching, everybody. And don't forget, find your balance. So long. Wardrobe provided by Stage Stores.